moves in mysterious ways, wonders to perform. So this is an artwork that expresses my awe about the mystery and wonders of life. invite Sparky. Now Sparky and Tip have not met before. Is that is that correct? So now I'm going to ask um, Tip to start an improv and Sparky uh, just listen for a minute and then when you're ready just go up into the center of the circle. You can go up there anytime and start to build something that is in response to what you hear, okay? Big applause. Uh, who is following who? It becomes a collaboration after a while. Wouldn't you say that's true, Tip and Sparky? Just being in different channels from the ones they're used to. So that someone who's mainly in the visual channel needs to really concentrate on the auditory channel 
uh, for, for the uh, process to unfold. Now this time, uh, Sparky, do you want to uh, link your thing and take it or just um, delete it? Do whatever you want with it because now we're going to have you start a build and have Tip uh, improvise to what you're doing. in the visual channel and Tip's going to take his cue from her from what from what he sees so go ahead Sparky it's now 336 so at 345 you'll get the warning uh, I also want to tell the audience again that if you have are inspired by <clears throat> any um, a poetic reflection of what you're seeing and hearing, you are welcome to uh, write in the chat bar. I'm so grateful that we have two such talented people doing this. This is this is so incredible, really beautiful. Uh, the last thing we're going to do, I'm going to invite anybody who's here in the audience who has an even basic building skills to come in and collaborate on a sculpture to uh and the last improvisation that Tip does. A collaboration so you can place your objects anywhere in relation to the other person's. You just can't change the other person's. You can change yours. You can go back and make it smaller, larger, transparent, whatever you want. You can also um, put your object on, uh, on top of or, or have the other person's object come into yours. You know, you can basically do uh, anything with your object that is, uh, <clears throat> that feels like it's collaborating with the person before you. All right, and now, um, let me keep track of this. Uh, when you have finished placing your object, Elise, for now, would you let Calliope know, because she's coming in with hers.
Elise and Calliope, and then Sparky, Elise and Calliope. And then you can play with your objects. You can change the color, put texture on them, make them translucent, whatever you wish. What does it do for you to have the sound and the imagery happening together? 